Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you how to use the Mozza R9 wheelbase on a PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. Details are in the description below for all the items I'll be showing today. I reviewed Mozza's R9 wheelbase a while ago and the sim racing experience with it is awesome. But one annoying thing is that Mozza is only compatible on a PC and there's no console support. I know the team over at Mozza Racing is working on console support at the moment, but there's no ETA on when it's going to be available. So in the interim, you could buy one of these racing wheel converters from Brook. There's two versions of this adapter. The Resolution 1, which supports PS3, PS4, Xbox Series X, S, Xbox 360, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch, but not the PlayStation 5. Then there's the Resolution 2 that supports all the same consoles as the Resolution 1 but also supports PlayStation 5. Price wise, the latest converter is more expensive than the original one. It's not limited to just Mozza wheels as other ones are supported too. And you'll find the compatibility list on their website. I've got the resolution too, so I can test on both the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. In the packaging, you get some stickers, a blue braided USB type C cable and the resolution 2 converter. The converter is pretty small in size, has a Type-C connector at the top and two USB Type-A inputs at the bottom. With a screen, navigation buttons together with a start button in the center. Now let's test this out. I've got my Mozza R9 with CS wheel and SRP pedals together with the CM Digital Dash set up on my SIM cockpit from Track Racer. This is the TR120 and my TV is the LG OLED C1 with my PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X connected below that. When I first tried this out, only the wheel worked and not the pedals. So I reached out to Brook and they provided a new firmware update, which then worked fine. Getting the converter connected up is easy. Connect the Type-C cable to the converter and the other end goes to the PlayStation and plug the USB cable from the Mozza R9 wheelbase into USB port one. Accessories are plugged in to USB port two. So in this case, the pedals. I've tried plugging in a USB hub to try to connect multiple accessories. So for example, a USB shifter and a USB handbrake together with the pedals, but this just doesn't work. So I can only have the wheelbase and pedals connected. Turning on my PlayStation and pressing the start button on the converter, select the platform. So in this case, I'll pick PlayStation 5 wheel. Now on the wheel, if I press down on the right joystick, that's equivalent of the PS button. It's now picked up the wheel on the console. You can navigate around using the joystick on the left and selection is via the button on the right. So let's start up Gran Turismo 7, going into assist settings, set transmission to manual, and now we can test this out. Let's check the paddle shifters and going through the gears, they all seem to work. Onto the pedals and they seem to be working fine too. And finally the wheel. Force feedback is there and you can feel it going around corners and even any knocks and bumps together with the terrain coming through to the wheel. I'm actually quite impressed as it seems to work really well and it's very similar in terms of performance with what you'd get on a PC. I didn't notice any lag, but looking at the rev counter on the wheel, that doesn't work and neither does a CM digital dash, which is a real shame. I've not changed any settings on the converter, but you can tweak things on it. For example, the force feedback, steering range and dead zone. I've had a play around with these and they all work as expected and you can make these changes on the converter on the fly while gaming without needing to restart anything. I've also tested the wheel with Dirt 5 and Asserto Corsa Compati Zone. On Dirt 5 the wheel lacked sensation on the track feeling pretty weak. I could hardly feel the terrain and feedback was pretty poor. Even turning up the feedback from the controller to max didn't help. Onto Asserto Corsa Compati Zone and performance on this was awesome. The level of feedback and performance was really good, giving accurate feedback to the wheel, so really impressed. Flipping over to my Xbox Series X and selecting Xbox wheel on the controller, the wheel is picked up straight away. I couldn't find the menu button like you have on the controller, so you'd want to add the controller too. Testing out Forza Horizon 5, and this worked really well, giving an immersive racing experience. You can feel the force feedback going around corners and even any knocks and bumps together with the terrain coming through to the wheel. So really impressed. Moving on to Dirt 5, and it felt the same as the PlayStation 5. Feedback was minimal and quite disappointing. And finally, Asserta Corsa Compati Zone. Performance wasn't too bad, but unlike the PlayStation, I felt I had to turn the force feedback on the wheel converter to max, and this gave a good level of feedback and performance felt awesome. So in summary, it's pretty cool being able to play using the Mozart R9 wheelbase 
using a console, giving you additional options of playing beyond just the PC. Negatives wise, it's a shame the rev counter on the wheel and the CM digital dash doesn't work by default and performance can vary between consoles and games, which was a surprise. Price wise, it's not cheap, coming in at $120. I found it quite difficult to get hold of via their website, so I ended up finding it on AliExpress and buying it via that. So there you go. I hope this video has helped anyone trying to get their Moza R9 working with a PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X or S. Details are in the description below for all the items I've shown today, including purchasing links. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be notified of my next release. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.